Patrick Lloyd was outside the Ted C. Collins Law Enforcement Center as that procession made its way toward the funeral home. Joins us live now outside MBPD headquarters with more on the show of support for Hancher this afternoon. And it was quite a show of support, Patrick. It certainly was, Eric. You know, the last couple days have just been absolutely heartbreaking for the Myrtle Beach community as a whole, but especially the folks here at the Myrtle Beach Police Department. But tonight, the community is slowly moving from hurting to healing. A somber day to honor what most would call nothing short of a tragedy. Too many people to count lined Mr. Joe White Avenue and Oak Street to watch as a police procession brought Officer Jacob Hancher's body past MBPD headquarters. Many saluting to pay their respects. It makes me upset. Hancher's passing bringing tears to many, like Steve Brown. We got to support our officers, be there with them, and try to try to do our best, you know, to help them out. Today was difficult for those with a close attachment to the police, like Glenn Smith. Um, I have a sister that's a law enforcement in Greenville County, so it kind of hit home a little bit here. Hancher's passing also hit close to home for Chris Moskovic, his wife used to work for Myrtle Beach Police. About the people she worked for for many years up here, they become family to me. So that's the big reason why I'm out here today, to show my support for Jacob's family. Outside MBPD headquarters, Hancher's growing memorial continues to bring tears to the eyes of many, a constant reminder of the man who gave his life to protect and serve the people of Myrtle Beach. I saw that coming down, that broke me. It broke me so bad. Now, I did not know Jacob Hancher, but I think you can tell a lot about a person even without meeting them. The old saying, of course, is actions speak louder than words. If we look at Hancher's actions, becoming a police officer, volunteering as a firefighter, it's very clear his actions and his intentions were to serve this community.